inspiration was the photograph that you sent me of the actors um, posing with the young lady had the sword, and I liked that quite a lot. Uh, I thought the the figure on the gentleman was a little static, so uh, I changed it and altered the angles just a bit. Uh, raised the one leg, so he's doing something from the waist down, and uh, this is. Uh, pen and ink and brush and watercolor and acrylic and it's many many layers um, one of the things that you always want to do when, when you're working on a painting is you want to make sure you get some of all the colors in everything um, so that the the oranges and the and the greens and the purples carry on through the purples the, the very strong color here and to keep her from being that sole purple accent you can see there's purples all over here purples in the background purples in the shadows of um, Robin Hood's costume all there all those the contours and everything else purple on the arrowhead purple in the foliage and uh, so on and all the shadows as you go on down it keeps this spot from looking like it doesn't belong there um, it's a, a tough lesson to uh, uh, try and teach a, a colorist who's using a computer <laughs> they have a tendency to want to want to just uh, make something that's green any shade of green that works for them and of course you have to keep all that in mind so there's there's purple up here in the shadows like I said and then the various shades of uh, green on carried on down through the the background color here is the only part in there that's uh, actually acrylic uh, everything else is uh, transparent watercolor um, and I use the acrylic because I needed to have that flat color this is impressive I love it